So earlier today, I saw a video by Mr. Excel uh, about randomizing a lunch menu. So basically, the menu was something like this, and the items were all sequential or alphabetical. And uh, Mr. Excel used either the rand between function or the rand function to sort of mix it up a little bit and get these items in a different order. But I was thinking, is there a way to put assign a weight, a weighted value, or a number to some of the items so that they would appear more often than others? So th that's what I'm going to show you in this video. So our first step is we want to provide that weight value or a number for each of the menu items. So here we have step one, and we're going to assign the weight. We put the numbers into these cells. This is just some conditional formatting, this green in the background, to show you that the tandoor chicken is a six. Uh, and um, anything that's a high number is a higher probability that it will occur. As we have many different kinds of meatballs, we want to lower the chance. Altogether, this is uh, adds up to 3.8, so it's still a high probability. We could, um, here we have chili, which is a 5, and then something like chicken salad is 0 0.5. Doesn't mean it won't occur, but it's just a smaller probability. And here at the bottom, we have the total. Just This is simply adding up everything above. So, step 2 and step 3, uh, basically we're going to add a simple counter, just a uh, a numerical value going from 1 to the top to 23 for each of our menu items nothing to do with the weight N step 3 is to add a formula to get the percent for each item of the total so let's take a look here is step 2 this is our counter all the way down from 1 to 23 uh, and then step 3 is saying take the value for the first item which is barbecue chicken it's a 4 E3 has a 4 here divide it by the total at the bottom, which is 58.25. So this formula goes all the way down. Each individual item is divided by the total to get a percent. And of course, just to double check, I this, this is just adding up the values above, and it adds up to 100%. So step four is the interesting step that does all the magic. Uh, it's We're going to use the data analysis tool pack, and part of that is called random number generator. So let's take a look. We go click data on the tab at the top, and here we have data analysis. So we're going to pick random number generation. Click OK. The first thing here, number of variables, that simply means one column. Number of random numbers is 23. So we, here, here's the top number our, of our counter, 23 items. Distribution, we have many different options, but we want to pick discrete. and Discrete basically means that um, you can specify the probability of each item occurring, which we're going to do now with this little drop down. So we're, it's asking for value and probability input range, and that is basically what we have here. We've got the counter here, and this is the percent, the, the higher the number, the greater the probability of occurring. And last but not least, we have our output range, and I made this to be H3, which is over here. So now when I press this button, Excel is going to randomly generate those values based off of the percent chance that we have here in step 3. And you can already tell that uh, the value 23 appears three times, four times actually. And when we look back at our list, Tandoor Chicken had a 6, which was the highest number, and a 10.3% chance of occurring. So uh, all we need now is to do the last step to pull back the menu items. So here we have step five. A lookup formula could be index offset VLOOKUP using the random number that we just generated from step four. So here we have um, an offset which is telling us to go to cell F2 and the H3 value is a nine and it's just going to say go, go to the cell and go down nine and the last item. We don't want to go columns to the right or to the left. So all we're doing is saying start here and go down that number of times, nine times. So we do this all the way down and we're using these numbers to go back into our menu item and extract the values. Now I've run this uh, several times and sometimes you get the same item two times in a row. So you might have to manually adjust it unless someone can tell me a really quick an easy way to make sure that there's nothing 
uh, two times in a row. That would be maybe VBA or a lot of formulas, but that might get a little bit complicated. But now, if you're curious, um, what, how many times are these items in here? Some items might not be in there, and other items, we know that the 23, the tender are chickens in there several times. So let's use a pivot to take a look at that. So here's my pivot table, and all I've done is you know throw in the, um, let me just show you the pivot information here, the menu item into the row label area, and I, I dropped it in again over here in the values to count them. I sorted it, and so in fact we do see tandoori chicken four times, chili three times, and a lot of twos and ones, uh, but it basically, you could run it again and you get something slightly different, but it would be somewhat similar uh, because of the weights that we have here in step one. So finally, if you're interested in the spreadsheet that I used uh, to create this solution, visit my uh, website tonight or maybe early tomorrow morning and I'll have the post on there with the file attached to it.